Hey everyone, welcome back to the final episode of this first solo wipe on the Rust console edition. I put a lot of time into this one, so if you do enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'm going to be posting a lot of Rust content going forward, focused on the console edition, which releases officially in one week's time. And man, I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you haven't seen episodes 1 and 2 of this solo wipe, then you can find those links in the description of this video. But anyway, let's get right into it. Well, here we go. I guess we'll see if I've been raided. Logging in for the first time. Day 2 of the new wipe. Oh, thank god for that. We are safe. We are safe. So the plan for today then, I guess is going to be to get some more scrap, see if we can upgrade our workbench to a level two. And I do need to try and get some sort of weapon. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe I can get a SAR, a semi-auto rifle to start off with. That way I can at least, you know, compete against uh, multiple enemies with shotguns and bows. It's pretty tricky when you just have a bow against more than one opponent. So we'll hopefully try and find a weapon and we need to start doing some research. We need to start learning some of these blueprints so that I can craft them. Holy shit, man. That base has gone absolutely massive since I logged off. Oh. Oh, there's someone chasing me? I really need to try and get the medical, like, syringe blueprint because bandages are all well and good, but they don't really heal you up fast enough. Especially on the console edition of Rust that is pretty, pretty clunky trying to heal. Oh, there's a dude just there. I knew I heard shooting out here, but I don't know if this is the guy with a weapon. I guess we'll soon find out. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's going to be them. He might have just seen me then. This is going to be so hard to get away with. But he's going to have a shit ton of stone on him if he's upgrading. Oh my god. It looked like it was time to pull out the old trusty bow. Sake, dude, it's so clunky. What? No, no, man, this base is ugly. <laughs> so ugly. Hello. Holy shit, 700 sulfur? <laughs> you dumb dogs. So it was day two of the wipe, and to be honest, I hadn't really progressed much, hence beating down noobs with rocks. 
and after a decent loot run through the airfield, I decided that it would be better if I moved my base a little bit closer to expedite the process of gathering scrap and hopefully getting into some PvP with players rolling higher tier weapons than me. So I did a quick farm and whacked down the skeleton of a new base. But as I was getting ready to transport my loot, I noticed this base right next to my new build with a backwoods wooden wall. And to be honest, I just couldn't resist. I knew that I could gain easy access with just a few hatchets and spears, so I got to work. Well, there was pretty much nothing in this base, so I went back to the original plan of shifting bases. Alright, so we're going to do a little loot run here. I'm going to run all my shit from my initial base over to my new base. I think it's a good call. We're going to get more, more resources there, more loot, more chance for weapons. And it's close to those guys that I feel like I could maybe snag an assault rifle off, or like a SAR at least. So we'll go back to the base, dry up, and then we're gonna stock up and go for a very, very risky run. <laughs> now we're not talking chicken scratch. I had 1400 gunpowder and 60 high qual metal on me, not to mention almost 400 scrap. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't on edge, but nonetheless, I made tracks for what I'd hoped would be a smooth transition. All right, here goes nothing. Oh god. Holy shit, dude. Just run. Don't even, like, don't even stop. We are freaking beelining it, man. Jesus. If only he knew. <laughs> if only he knew what I had on me. But it seemed that the rust gods were looking down on me. My enemy didn't pursue the chase, and I was able to make it back in one piece. Oof. So after that, I fortified my base, whacked on an airlock, threw down some loot boxes, and did a final run with my remaining loot before logging out for the night. And I tell you what, I wasn't prepared for what the next day had in store for me. Man, the game is running so much smoother since the hotfix that was installed. It seems like the Series X is still freezing a bit though. Like every now and then it will freeze for about 5 seconds. But so far the frames just feel so much nicer. Now this is the same base that I'd recently broken into, but this guy had been active for most of the day, so when I domed him in his doorway like this, I thought I'd try and be cheeky and get myself inside again. Hmm, what can I do here? Man, he's left all his doors open. <laughs> well actually I could chop this out. Man, I wish I'd thought of that earlier. He's gonna respawn and try and try and close this door though. But is he gonna be in time? That's the question.
Quick. Ah, uh, froze. Good. Not only did my game freeze, but so did my reload animation on my water pipe shotgun. Good. Good. I'm sorry, how are you supposed to do that? How are you supposed to play? If you couldn't tell, I was pissed. So I decided to go back with my best gear, which I will add was currently a double barrel shotgun and a revolver. Ugh. Outmanned and outgunned, I was truly living the solo rust life. Man, this guy is going to get a fright. What? No, dude. Oh, I freaking headshot him. Man, I need to get a weapon. I need to get a freaking Tommy gun or something. Uh, since we've been getting owned, I think what we'll do is we'll go do some farming. I think we'll find some low grade or smelt some low grade and we'll go find a boat away from all the, all the bad dudes. I mean, to be fair, like I remember playing on PC and playing as a solo is, is really hard. You can't really expect to be beating teams of three and four, like on a regular basis. You might pull it off every now and then, or like if you have a really good setup, then maybe, yeah. But I think I'm, you know, <laughs> trying to make plays that I'm not ready to make. I've only been playing this game for like a week on, on console and it's not easy. Wow, that is not easy to, <laughs> that is not easy to drive. <laughs> oh my God. 
He thought my driving in PUBG was bad. Surely they've left a spot of privilege somewhere. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Not much. Man, these guys are role players. I like it. Holy shit, dude. 181 crude. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Poor fellas, that's why you gotta check your privilege by the words of Ramsey. So the next day I headed out and got into some early PvP. Another one down the road. Where did he go? Oh god. Man, I can't really loot that body because that guy's just gonna wait until I'm stationary looting him. AK. Holy. Oh man, that was my opportunity. But I whiffed my shots. Man, that guy was not confident in firing that AK. It's like single tapping it. To be fair, it's probably it's probably quite hard to control. Oh man, there's shit going down over at airfield. Let's go check it out. It doesn't really matter, like if I lose my Python. So what? Damn, dude. That AK is popping off. I want it so bad. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Man, the audio is so off. Oof. He's going to loot that body. Has to.
dip, dip, dip. Holy shit. Ooh. Rads. Yeah, in my desperate loot grab, I'd taken off my rad suit and accumulated a healthy amount of radiation. So I decided I'd walk away from this fight. No, literally, I had to walk because of the radiation. Come on, dude. Under 100. So I can run. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. There was so much loot. Oh man. No way. No way. Let's fucking go, dude. Well, I tell you what. The goal, <laughs> the initial goal, starting out on this wipe was to get the AK. So I could test it out and see what the recoil was like. And provided that I get to shoot a few rounds of this thing, we have achieved our goal. Little did I know that a few rounds was generous at best. God damn. God damn. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> that was so short lived. And so that brought about the end of my first solo rust wipe on the console edition. Despite countless, countless defeats and costly errors, I felt the right thing to do was to give up my base and remaining loot, hopefully for one of the other solo players around to scoop up. So I unlocked my doors and tool cupboard, left a cute note on the doorstep and logged out. Thank you so much for watching my first solo series on the console edition of Rust. I already have some footage from my second wipe and oh boy is it juicy. So if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a bunch. And why not tell your friends to come and check out the channel? I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.